Good morning everybody, this is Charles Barnett and we are going to continue on our um, spirit led theme that the Lord wants us to deal with or talk about um, is divine healing. The Lord is reviving divine healing in this last day and hour and we want to talk about that. So today we're going to talk about pursue divine healing. We are going to pursue divine healing. So I want to read um, from Matthew chapter 14, verses 14. Um, let's start at 13 and we'll read verse 14. So Matthew 14, 13 and 14. And it reads, When Jesus heard it, he departed from there by boat to a deserted place by himself. But when the multitudes heard it, they followed him on foot from the cities. So they traveled. And when Jesus went out, he saw a great multitude, and he was moved with compassion for them, and he healed their sick. So he saw what they were doing, saw how they pursued him, and he was moved with compassion, and he healed their sick. So let's pursue divine healing. Now let's talk about this. You know, Jesus, uh, in his earthly ministry, he was doing lots of uh, great and mighty miracles and healings. And, uh, you know, he needed to depart to get some rest. And he went to a deserted place, so he got on a boat to get there. And when he got on his boat to get there, he went uh, with just by himself. By himself meaning, you know, he had a few of his friends, not the multitudes. And when he got there... Um, well, word got around. Where's Where's Jesus at? You know. Well, we need healing. My My family needs a miracle. So, you know, where's Jesus? So, well, he went on a boat that way. Oh, okay. We know where that's at. Okay, he's going to a place where he can be by himself. That's that area is usually deserted. So, the people left their cities and went on foot. No, they didn't walk across the water. They walked around it, which means they made a good long trek, hours, hours to walk to get there. And when Jesus saw them coming, can you imagine from this side of the body of water and this side of the body of water, throngs of people are coming to see him. And I'm sure they were really sweaty. I'm sure they were really tired. I'm sure they were very hungry. And they were bringing sick people with them. Maybe they were carrying them. So Jesus sees this. And he's moved with compassion. And he was so touched to move with compassion. Because they would go out of their way. To reach him. Because they knew that he was their answer. They knew that he was their salvation. They knew that he was the healing. He was the miracle maker. The miracle worker. He was the almighty. That would have the word of healing. So he was moved with compassion. And he healed their sick. He healed them. Healed every single one of them. So what does that tell us today? Is that us as people... We'll spend a lot of time and money to get what we want. We'll go great lengths to get it. We will. And so when it comes to healing and it comes to maybe something that uh, the medical field can't help us with, we're like in despair. Maybe we feel stuck or maybe this is the end. But it's not the end. If we will seek God and pursue God like the people in this passage, Bruno, shh, please. So if we can seek the Lord, we can get divine healing like these people. They did whatever they had to do to get there. Now, I love to praise God. I do. And you know, one of uh, our favorite scriptures is God inhabits the praises of his people. Which means when you praise God, He will come and inhabit your praise. And a lot of people use that to, if you can praise God, He'll come into your presence 
and then maybe you can get a healing. Well, there's something greater that than that in the Bible, and that is, is if people will pray to God, they can inhabit God's throne, and then when they inhabit God's throne, anything and everything is possible. So, prayer is greater than praise because praise you want God to inhabit your presence. Prayer lets you inhabit God's presence. Woo! Shata Mahaya Maka. That's so powerful. That's why the Bible says, Come boldly before His throne of grace so that you can get what you need, that you can receive whatever you need at that time. See, now that scripture says it there. If you can inhabit God's throne, if you can inhabit God's presence, then you can get whatever you need. That's scripture. So let's move beyond praise and let's get into prayer. Let's seek God in prayer. Let's do like these people did and whatever they had to do. If you have to, get to God in prayer. If you have to pray multiple times a day or if you have to pray every day for weeks on end and you have to take that person with you and petition for them or if it's yourself or if you even have to pray with that person. Whatever it is, you have got to get into God's throne room. Because once you get into his throne room, he will be so impressed and so touched that he will have compassion on you. And when God has compassion on people that go into his presence, what does the Bible say he does? He heals their sick. They can receive their needs at that time. Mm. So let's pursue divine healing by pursuing God. That means you and I have got to go beyond trying to get God to come to us and we have got to go to God. Because when you get into His throne room, when you get into His throne room, you're before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And all he has to do is speak the word and it is done. So these people, they traveled all the way around this body of water. I don't know if it was a lake or if it was the sea. It's, I don't know, something. Long enough, big enough that they took hours to get around. But he had compassion because of their perseverance and because they pursued him. If you will persevere and pursue through prayer, you and I have got to go to God. We've got to seek God. Don't hope that God comes to us. His Spirit is being poured out upon all flesh already. we got to do our part and we've got to go to God. We've got to come boldly before His throne of grace so that we can receive our miracle in the time of need. Prayer over praise. We've got to move from the realm of praise to the realm of prayer. If you look throughout the whole book of Acts and even the epistles of the New Testament, it was all about prayer, 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 prayer. Prayer is the answer. Praying unto God. Come before God. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and humble themselves and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. So let's pursue divine healing through pursuing God through prayer. Because God inhabits the praise of his people, but people inhabit the throne of God through prayer. Amen. So in this short little powerful word, this powerful prophetic revelation, it's all about prayer. We've got to shift gears into um, whatever activity it is that you do whatever religious activity is that you do, whatever it is that you and I are doing that's not producing the divine healing, the signs and wonders and miracles, we've got to shift gears and change directions and change the way we think and the way we perform or the way we do things. And we've got to go back to the Bible and go back to prayer. Prayer, 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 prayer. Get into the throne room of God and receive your divine healing. Hallelujah. That is the word of the Lord. The prophetic word for us today. 
It is a thus saith the Lord, If you will make God your Lord, make him your covering, seek to be in his throne room and submit to him, come before his presence, and he will meet you. He will perform signs, one of miracles. He will heal you, and he will deliver you in Jesus' name. So God bless you. You be blessed. And whatever you heard today in this short little 11-minute prophetic word is pray. Get away from everything else and pray. Get into the throne room of God and receive your miracle because it will happen. It's a thus saith the Lord in Jesus' name. God bless you. You be blessed. Don't forget to pray. Pursue divine healing in Jesus' name.